Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly if you're new here or if you forgot about me because I haven't posted here in four or five months so I don't blame you. <laughs> but now I'm back and my goal for 2019 is to post a video every week of the year. So let's do it. I'm starting the year with my best of beauty from 2018. So I'm going to show you all of my favorites from the last year and yeah. So I'm going to take it category by category. So I'll start with skincare and then move on to what I naturally would do next. So when it comes to skincare, there is one line in particular that has done so much for me and my skincare and that is the Ole Henriksen Balance series. After I stopped using isotretinoin or Accutane, uh, my skin got really oily and my pores were so... <laughs> still are, but they got so visible. This series has really helped me both to control my oil and to minimize the appearance of my pores. I use the cleanser and the toner every goddamn day. And then I use the scrub and the uh, cold plunge pore mask, that blue one. That's been all over Instagram. I use these at least once a week. I love those. They aren't going anywhere in 2019. And for creams and such, I have two new favorites. Um, for my face, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I bought this cream when I was in New York at Sephora. Uh, it's from You To The People and it's... Kale, spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid, superfood, air whip, moisturizing cream. And this one is so good. Um, as I mentioned, my skin is really oily and this cream is more of a gel consistency and it feels almost like water when you uh, massage it into the skin. So I really love that one. It's amazing to use under makeup as well. And then I also tried this eye cream from Belief. Uh, it's the moisturizing eye balm and that one also is so good. It's not too oily. It uh, soaks into the skin really fast and I love it. <laughs> okay, so moving on to makeup. Uh, I'll start with uh, primers. So the primer that I've used almost all year I think or at least from summer uh, is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For primer and this is so good. It mattes the skin and it melts away your pores. It's amazing so I love this and really recommend this if you have more oily skin or very visible pores. Okay, so this is more of <laughs> this is more of an honorable mention because I've only used this for about a week. So this is from Revolution Skincare and it's a superfood extract antioxidant rich serum and primer and this one is also really good. I haven't used it that long, but I feel like when uh, I have used it my makeup is flawless on top it's really good but i do have to use it with a pore filling primer to fill in my pores i really feel that i learned so much about foundations this past year before i only used full coverage full coverage and this year i have discovered that you don't really need massive coverage every single day. Two favorites of mine this year is these two and uh, the Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is amazing. I used this all summer and this is in the shade Porcelain, I think. So I use this one for days where I don't really want a lot of makeup, more of that no makeup makeup look. It's amazing. It gives such a nice glow to the skin and it evens out the skin tone. It's so amazing. And <laughs> I also found this foundation this year. I actually didn't want to try it 
because I'm always like this. I don't want to try things that everyone is raving about. I don't know why. Maybe because I want to be special. I don't know. But when we were in uh, New York, my best friend bought this foundation and she loved it so much and forced me to try it. And I loved it, of course. So I had to get it and this has been my favorite foundation with more cover uh, ever since. So I've used this from October until now. I actually haven't touched any of my other foundations. I'm also using that Too Faced foundation today. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And then we move on to concealer. I have two favorites here as well. Uh, one more high-end and one more affordable. The more affordable is the Makeup Mecca Cream Recovering Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Neutral. Uh, I don't know if you can buy this if you're not in Norway because it's a Norwegian brand. But this is amazing and their products are so affordable. It's... I don't know how, <laughs> how they do it. The more higher end uh, concealer is the YSL All Hours Concealer and this is in the shade 2. And both these are not like heavy, they're very light, very easy to blend out. So these two are really similar, they are both very easy to blend out, they're not heavy, they feel good. And this year I have also fallen in love with strobing products. So I have two here as well, one more high-end from MAC and one uh, more affordable from NYX and they are really, really similar. I feel like the NYX one is actually more glowy but the MAC one is easier to apply and goes more into the skin. So I really like to use the MAC one uh, on my face, on all over actually, but the NYX one I mostly use on my shoulders, on my neck area where I want some more glow because I don't want to put makeup over it but yeah, both of these are really good I recommend them both but the MAC one is a little better yeah <laughs> okay, and then we need something to set all of these cream products with and my favorite from this year has been the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder mine is in the shade Cupcake and I love this for both setting my face and baking it mattes down my skin so good as I mentioned four times <laughs> my skin is really oily so I need more of a dry powder uh, I'm you. Whoa! What do you want? So I need something that's going to really set my skin, at least when I'm going to use my makeup for several hours, or I will look like a grease ball. <laughs> and for bronzers, I forgot to mention this with my other cream products, but I have the LA Girl um, contour stick in the shade suede. This one I've used almost every goddamn day I've used makeup. It's amazing and it blends like a dream. So I really recommend this and this is also really affordable. And for powder bronzers, um, I am of course loving the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This has been a ride or die ever since spring I think. And now it's almost empty. <laughs> but I have another one so it's okay. It's okay. This is going to be the least shocking thing you see in this whole video <laughs> but my favorite highlighter of 2018 is of course the Amrisi highlighter I've used this so so much and it doesn't look like I've used anything it looks almost brand new at least to me <laughs> and this is just perfect I don't know what they did but something magical is in here. I almost haven't touched any of my other highlighters in 2018 so yeah there's that because it's limited edition and they brought it out again one time and I don't think that they will do it one more time you know 
my favorite bra. <laughs> And then my favorite blush of 2019. This is the Butter Blush in the shade Nude Silk from Physicians Formula. This is amazing. This is like the perfect nude blush that goes with anything. I use this with almost every single look. Never fails me. Never. And it smells so damn good. It smells just like the bronzer if you try that. And then let's jump over to some eye products. And I'm going to start with my favorite palette of 2018. And that is the Soft Glam palette. I've used this for, I feel like, <laughs> almost every single eye look I've done. It's so beautiful. You have all your nudes and some shimmers, black white everything you really need so i've used this a lot on its own and i also use this like only the uh, browns and the warm tones and then put shimmers or something else from another palette or single shadows on top if you're going to buy one palette this one you can do so much it almost looks kind of boring. I know, I thought so too. But you can actually do so many looks using this. I've used this today. It's not a very <laughs> crazy makeup look. But yeah, you can do so many things. And then we have another honorable mention. Because I just got this. It's the um, JLo and Inglot gel liner in the shade midnight it's a black liner and this is actually amazing i'm going to mention a brush too the sigma beauty wing liner e06 brush these two are a power couple you need these together <laughs> it made my life so much easier i actually managed to do a winged eyeliner identical winged eyeliner when I was a little tipsy and I usually can't do it when I'm sober so go for it <laughs> and I have to say I'm not sponsored by anyone to make this video I know it sounds like that but this is my honest opinion and for mascara I am high maintenance, so I always use two different mascaras. Um, for my upper lashes, I use the YSL uh, Mascara Volume Effect Faux Seals. I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, this one is amazing. And it gives really nice volume and it gives length, but not like too much length, if you can have that. And for my lower lashes, uh, I mentioned this in my last video about my favorites. I'm pretty sure the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash is forever at my lower lashes. <laughs> I don't use anything else. This is amazing. And the reason for that is that the one is so tiny that it really grabs like all the small hairs without getting product all over your under eyes. So that one is also... A big win <laughs> okay we're <laughs> jumping all the way back and starting with brows <laughs> so for brows I use the brow Wiz from Anastasia in the shade medium brown and the clear brow gel these products are the ones that work for me they never fail me they're really easy to work with I tried so many different brow products but yeah, I really love this. The tip is so fine. It It's so easy to be precise. Uh, yeah, so I love this one. Love this one. I also have one with color. Love that one. And then let's jump over to the last category, which is lips. And this year I has been not like really mind blown over lip products, but I have some favorites. Anyway, so for lip balm, I have really loved the Smooth Operator from Rituals. This is just regular lip balm. It actually gives moisture to the lips. You're not feeling 
dry and cracked up again after 10 minutes. So that one is really nice and it absorbs into the lips. Yeah, so I really like to use that under liquid lipstick, under anything matte. And for liquid lipsticks, I have some favorites. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the Fenty Stella lip paints. I have it in the shade Unbutton and Uncensored. These are so good. They're so easy to apply and they last all day. It's incredible. Then I also have loved the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. That's the one I'm wearing right now. And this one I love because it's actually... It doesn't like... What's it called? It's not tight and uncomfortable and feels... Ugh. No, it's really good. It's comfortable to wear. I can wear it all goddamn day. And this... <laughs> This last year I have been obsessed with lip gloss. I actually don't think I've liked lip gloss before this year, but this year I've gotten three new favorites. Two of the Fenty glosses, the Fenty Glow and the Diamond Milk in the gloss bomb. These are so good. Uh, I tend to like this one a little more because it has some color to it and if you use this on top uh, some lipsticks they can look ashy I don't know but it's really good to use on its own and then I've also loved the NYX butter gloss this is in the shade creme brulee brulee <coughs> wow creme brulee <laughs> and I don't know why I love glosses so much but yeah I use this I use one of these almost every time I do my makeup now that's so... <laughs> ah, my 2017 self wouldn't believe it. But yeah, these are my favorites. And I know there's some categories that I haven't included, but that's because I don't have any favorites in those categories. So for example, fake lashes, regular lipstick, lip liners, but yeah. These are my favorites. These have been used so freaking much in 2018. I seriously can't wait to see what 2019 has to offer. That was my favorites from 2018. I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to leave your favorites from the last year in the comment section because I really want to know. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My name is Malin Beauty, and I try to post there almost every day. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm Bye, guys. See you in 